What's going on guys, Marksman ETC here back with another video and man has it been a minute. Now if you're wondering what's been going on with me, go ahead and just wait till the end of the on feet section of this video and I'll explain um, what I've been up to lately and why it's been so long since I've uploaded. Um, but first of all, let's get into the shoes. So today we're going to be talking about the Packer Soulbox Energy Boost. So this shoe is actually super cool. It drives inspiration from the oceans at which the European and the North American tectonic plates meet. Um, you actually have coordinates on the cage right here um, which I do believe represents those coordinates either that or I've also heard that it represents the coordinates of these shops of which they're located um, both in Europe and the US um, now this shoe is actually super cool so this is an energy boost that actually features prime knit so as you can see it is stretchy um, it's kind of like the run through time where that has prime knit but the prime knit on this shoe I think is a bit more stretchy now one really cool thing about this shoe is that it does have a 1.0 inspired uh, fuse overlay on the toe box which is super cool a lot of fans like that uh, the ultra boost is the same way um, where it has that 1.0 inspired fuse overlay which is really cool it's a nice touch something to add character to the shoe rather than just leave the toe box blank um, speaking of character though this shoe actually has a lot so, so the energy boost represents the top of the ocean where you can see the water on the top and the bubbles are rising so the water is obviously represented by this teal, teal. color and then the bubbles are represented by the gray color um, in the prime knit now it's really cool because you can see the intricate woven pattern in this shoe to represent both of those things and it's done really well um, what's really cool also is that in the prime knit um, there are reflective speckles going through it and you'll be able to see in some photos that I took of the shoe um, which I didn't even notice at first but it's super cool because it is in there um, another cool thing when we're on the topic of reflective is the laces are reflective the consortium hole punch is reflective and you have a reflective uh, thing going kind of underneath the laces right here which is really nice it's a nice touch um, the soul box logo right there is a reflective material and so is the Packer uh, tongue tab right here on the left foot um, on both of the back of the shoes you get a reflective kind of tectonic crackle as well on the back which is super cool not only that but you also get uh, kind of differences between each shoe so of course you've seen both of the tongue tabs right now but the right shoe features the soul box logo on the tongue tab and the left one features Packer logo on the tongue tab um, you also have on the heel cage Packer written right here on this shoe and soul box on the right um, now here are if you're interested in looking at the coordinates on both shoes these are the coordinates on both of them you can look them up I admittedly did not look them up when I was preparing to make this video so I'm not too sure what they represent um, other than I, maybe the tectonic plates or the shops the consortium shops but I'm not too sure but let's dive into the shoe real fast we have a consortium handshake uh, insole where you get the Packer logo right here on this one and then on the other one it says Soulbox with the same consortium handshake insole which is super cool um, it's cool that both of these brands are coming together and putting kind of their own twist on the left and right shoe it's something that's unique something we haven't really seen before and the ultra boost actually does the same thing which I'm thinking of uh, picking up um, in terms of technologies of course I've mentioned prime knit um, but you also get continental rubber it does not say on the shoe continental but when you unbox the shoe it has a continental rubber um, tag hanging off of it um, so that's really cool I'm glad that they included it because as far as I can tell on the energy boost uh, run through time it did not have continental rubber um, which was something I missed out on I know it's just kind of a small thing to miss out on but it's nice to have it when you need it you know um, not only that but you also get the torsion system uh, which actually stretches from the midfoot all the way up to the toe and it stretches back down to the heel and you can see part of the torsion system right here as well um, you get a really nice bed of boost with a EVA traditional EVA um, midsole between the boost and the upper um, the boost on this is a bit more firm than it is on ultra boost so you're not gonna have like a lot of squish with it it's gonna be more firm 
um, and this shoe is kind of dedicated to heel strikers. Um, not a lot of boost in the toe area, of course, it flattens out right here, and there's absolutely none at the toe right here. Um, but it's still a very comfortable shoe. The only problem that I have with it is on the inside, there's this cutout between the tongue and the back of the shoe where the plastic of the cage actually rubs up against your ankle. Um, I've noticed it's an issue. I don't know if a lot of other people have, but uh, it's not very comfortable and it sucks when you know, you're trying to wear the shoe and it's just too uncomfortable sometimes to wear. But um, other than that, it is a very comfortable shoe and um, I love rocking this shoe. It looks really good. I get a lot of comments and I don't know, it's really nice. Oh, also, on the lace tips you get these kind of red and white candy cane looking aglets. Uh, these are cool because they represent buoys in the ocean. Um, but yeah, that's cool. So let's throw these guys on feet and I'll show you what they look like. Stay tuned for the explanation of why I've been gone at the end of this video. Alright, and for those of you who have been wondering what has been going on lately, um, I think my last video was posted in March or April, very long time ago. I know I'm like uploading in November, almost December now. But what's been going on is for a long time now I've been working for Adidas. Um, I just got hired there back in July. Um, I've been working full time and it's my first full time job, so I'm always tired, always exhausted. And between that, I've got a girlfriend, I've been traveling, we've got the holidays all that we've all had, and um, I went on vacation and things like that. I just haven't personally found time to do it. Uh, I know that kind of sounds like an excuse because I definitely could have, but I just haven't been. Um, I'm going to try to get back into regularly uploading. Um, don't hold me to that though because I'm not very good with this full-time life. Um, but I will try to do it and uh, until next time, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.